Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining in. Uh, today I'm gonna be fixing a rock chip on my car. This weekend we drove four hours to get a new puppy. His name is Mochi. I want you guys to meet Mochi. He's eight and a half weeks old. It's very playful. He's a mixed mini toy poodle. Yeah, he's the cutest. Still trying to train him, but uh, overall he's been getting used to the place and being a lot more playful now. So yeah, we heard like a, a popping noise uh, didn't think anything of it until we got home and noticed a uh, rock chip on the windshield. So today I'm going to be uh, attempting to repair it. I'm going to be using the Blue Star windshield repair kit. I used this in the past and it worked out pretty good. Um, so I'm going to be using this again today. And let me show you the rock chip that I have. Here is the rock chip. It's a, probably a three quarters of an inch. Uh, there's no spider cracks or anything, so it's just a pretty round rock chip. It didn't seem like it go through behind because there was no, I didn't feel any cracks from behind the glass. So hopefully this will repair it. So yeah, let's open this up, see what it comes with, uh, what's in the package, and show you the process of uh, repairing this rock chip. All right, so here's a quick little unboxing. Let's open this up. little instructions whoops <laughs> all right anyway so here is the instructions let's open this up see what else is in the package uh, like a little syringe a little syringe all right we got the repair resin the adhesive a little strip of the yellow strip, I guess. I don't know what you call that. All right, that's a little, what else is that? It's got a, it's got a little pin in here, like a, a push pin. Uh, a razor. Let's, uh, be careful with this, it's sharp, I guess. All right, a razor. Let's put this back in. And uh, this thingy-bajig, uh, I guess the mount seal, the connect, connect injector seal, the pedestal. Yeah, this is the pedestal. Yep. All right, so let's first, uh, what they say is to clean the damaged area with this pin. So let's do that. All right, so just pretty much try to scratch it up, trying to clean the small pieces of the broken glass. So step number two is mount the seal to the windshield, but um, didn't say anything about cleaning it. So I'm just gonna be using a alcohol wipe just to wipe it clean. I'm gonna try to clean a, a larger surface. I'll just wait for it to dry. Alcohol should uh, evaporate really quick. So once that's dried, I'm going to use this and place it right in the middle where the rock chip is. All right, so I'm going to peel this side off. I'm just going to have this uh, piece of facing upwards. So right in the center. Just make sure to it adheres to the windshield. Then you want to peel this adhesive off. And then placing the pedestal and follow this tap where the sticky part is. And place it right in the center. So, so done, push it firmly. Next, you want to just get the, the resin, twist this open, and then cut a slit open. Yeah, just like that. And just squeeze it in. Next, you get the, the plunger, stick it in, 
while holding it firmly you pull this up and what it is is like a, a vacuum pull it up to the, the lower notch and it should lock in place right here so you can already see that it's already kind of working you can see the the syringe pulling all the air out and let me show you what it looks like from behind this is what it looks like from behind as you can see all those air is being pulled out as like a suction anyway so basically you want to have it in this position and leave it there for about 10 minutes or so all right it's been uh, about 10 minutes and the air bubble on the other side has slowed down significantly so after 10 minutes what they said is to remove this that and then push it back in and then you see that notch right here you want to twist it push it down and then lock it into that notch so right now you're pushing the resin into the cracks and uh, you want to leave it there they said to leave it there for a minimum of 20 minutes all right so 20 minutes is up it's gonna pull this out Next, you want to use a razor blade. I'm just kind of start breaking this apart. So you just want to be careful with this razor because it's very sharp. I actually just cut myself. Just wipe it down a little bit, just around the edge. All right, so the final step is this yellow piece of film. Uh, just apply. A little dab of the resin and then just lay it in there just want to lay it in there like that once the film is on there I'm gonna pull out the car to the Sun and let it sit for 15 minutes uh, minimum if you're doing it in a dark hazy area let it sit for at least one hour minimum all right let it sit for 15 minutes and I'm gonna come back okay now the final step is to peel off this film I actually had it sit out for like about 25 minutes, uh, about 10 minutes longer than usual, but they said to have it sit out in the sun, so just to make sure it's like really cured. So what they say is now just use the razor that they, same razor that they provided. And start on the edge. And you can see it is cured, it is pretty hardened up. And just try to scrape this out. I'm trying to be careful. So this is what's remaining and you just we'll use a scraper and just kind of scrape everything away. Make sure it's flat. So after I uh, scraped everything off, it was pretty uh, level now. I don't even feel that little chip anymore. So I'm just right now, I'm just gonna clean it off with an alcohol. So here's what it looks like. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it definitely filled up the crack and it's uh, a lot less noticeable now but yeah i mean you can definitely see that it's still there it is definitely better than replacing the entire window um if it was like a long crack then you definitely need to be replaced and the and the repair kit won't even repair those little cracks so it only repairs uh, rock chips like this and this is what it looks like from the inside you can still see a little bit but majority of it uh definitely filled up the cracks inside definitely a lot better you can't even tell so i wouldn't say this would completely make the chip 100 percent gone because even the packaging says that even after there will still be some sort of like small chip showing uh that's what it looks like before this is kind of what my crack looked like actually it's not that bad but after it would still have like a small little dot so 
I wouldn't say this is 100%, but it definitely did help and it'll prevent any further cracking. I'll give this like nine out of 10. It, it's really not bad at all. Better than replacing this whole entire windshield, which costs, it really depends. I don't know how much, maybe like three, 400, I guess. This, uh, I'm just guesstimating how much this would, would cost out of pocket. Uh, I never had a windshield replaced before, so um, it might be more, might be less, who knows, but uh, this only cost me, oh man, how much did it cost me? I think it was like 13, 14 dollars on Amazon. Um, I forgot, but I'll link it down in the description below if you guys are interested in trying to repair this yourself. But I mean, this is pretty much the outcome. A lot better. You can't even feel the, the dimple or the crack is anymore. So yeah, anyways, um, it's not bad. That's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, comment down below, subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Oh,